Hey everybody, this is Kasu and welcome to day 2 of Kenga week. Today, we'll be going through Kenga Husbandry. Uh, Kenga Husbandry is actually linked or rather uh, has a correlation with another mod which I'll be going through for day 3. But first, we'll go through Kenga Husbandry because we need to know what Kenga Husbandry gives before we can go through the other mod. So, what is Kenga Husbandry? Well, have you ever thought that art? Uh, has very little things or like very little uh items affiliated with farming like how come i need a greenhouse to make the farm better what about those farms that does not have a greenhouse how come i need uh my dinosaur the uh, poop right like only can give like fertilizer and not any other better fertilizers so on and so forth well your questions have been has an answer and that is kanga husbandry as it adds a variety of items and a variety of uh, immersive farming stuff that you can play around with. So without further ado, let's begin. First up is the uh, seeds. So this mod adds 19 different seeds or rather 19 new plants that you can plant. Uh, it ranges from beetroot uh, or rather I just want to name it all. It goes from beetroot, chickpeas, cocoa, cocoa beans, uh, coffee, cotton, garlic, grape, hemp, jute, licorice, mint, mulberry, pepper, pumpkin, rice, strawberry, sugarcane, tobacco, and finally wheat. So, you might think to yourself, so where can I find all these seeds? Is it I just randomly, you know, go to a random patch of grass here and just start harvesting? Uh, no. Uh, as you can tell, you need to collect old seed from it. So, to make, uh, to rather to find this seed, uh, that you can either look online for a guide or go to the farmer's workbench and craft this particular item, the plant compendium. This plant compendium will show you where or what uh, creatures will spawn with the said plants. Uh, I'm not. I can't really find any of them because I'm so I'm not very sure how they look like. But once you use it, this will come out. It will tell you the, you know, a brief description of it, and most importantly, they'll tell you where to find, uh, the this beet root. For example, wild beets can be found where Triceratops, Titanoboas, or Compi are located. Chickpeas can be found near, uh, the snail, Nistrosaur, or Pachyrhinosaurus. This cocoa can be found where Megaloceros. Uh, Hyenodons or raw rats are. Coffees can be found near Archaeopteryx, Procoptodon, Globark, so on and so forth for all 19 plants, uh, 19 seeds. All of these plants, or rather all of these uh, seeds, can be planted in their new farm plot. So where is this new farm plot made? Well, this new farm plot is made using the farm workbench. This farm workbench is actually the core part of the mod. You have to create this particular structure in order to create the rest of the item which I'll go through uh, most of it one by one as there's a lot of item in this game. Uh, some of the stuff that I won't be going through are the more uh, layman's or rather the more straight to the point items for example the uh, this particular the dino ointment which can be made into a uh, dino med kit basically it helps to heal your dinosaur quicker but the some of the stuff that requires more explanation i'll be going through them so uh from the farm workbench uh you can actually create these particular plots which is called the farm plot these farm plots do not need the greenhouse gas however it does need quite a few number of stuff as you can, as you can see there are five icons below and there's a bunch of other words that you probably never like there's, there's like one more layer of word which is pesticide so uh let me explain to you what each of them are but if you uh, do not want to hear me explain it you can actually head over to the kanga mods page which i'll link down in the description below and you can actually see for yourself what each of these icon does so starting from the left side is this scarecrow looking thing so basically uh not uh having a scarecrow uh which can be sorry which can be crafted inside the farm workbench and landed here having the scarecrow nearby will help crop plots uh will actually help your crop plots to give you more harvest you the next up is this arrow thing which is connecting multiple crop plots will increase the harvest you up to 12 plots 
uh, to the next of it, which is not shown, is the this plant with a bunch of arrows, which means connecting multiple crop plot with the same plant increases harvest yield up to 12 plot. So basically meaning that it is more profitable uh, to have a multitude, all right, multiple of the same plant uh, under the same farm plot, making it possible to make huge farms that you can see in real life since it also benefits you. Next part is a the sun, which is a crop plot that has access to sunlight uh, as it will give you more harvest. And lastly is the this structure looking thing, which is a beehive. As the description say, having a beehive near your crops uh, will increase your harvest yield. So where do you make or where do you find this beehive? Well, uh, the beehive is not like your typical beehive where you just pick up from uh, the random wild beehives around and slap it on the ground. You actually have to make the item, which can be made inside the farm workbench. As you can see, uh, you'll be going back to the farm workbench quite a lot because as I said, it is the core part of the mod. So once you have your domestic, uh, your beehive, you can actually Drop it in here and put in some uh, rare flower as how you do with a beehive and it will start making all this stuff uh, in, in due time. And uh, one of which is you can make this queen bee breeding chamber which uh, will produce a new queen and if I am not wrong, uh, producing a new queen means that they will you can have additional beehives or rather uh, you can there will be an extra beehive inside without you searching for it. But obviously searching for it would be easier. But if you just want to get one beehive and let it fester, that's also okay. But as you can tell, it takes you know quite quite a long time to make these honeys as a beehive would. So you can just put it down and let it fester or let it like do its own job. Now, uh, enough with the beehives. Uh, all these items like the farm plow, uh, honestly speaking, it's just... It will add to uh it basically you have to put this near the farm pots so that you can uh have extra benefits but uh i'm not very sure 100 percent sure what the benefits are for example this farm plow requires a blade uh so i can plow the farm plots but i'm not exactly very sure on how to work with that however this real barrel here actually helps to collect plant waste and thatch when you're harvesting your plants, which is quite important uh, later on in the mod. As uh, if you do know a bit about some agricultural stuff, uh, regardless whether you're looking it through um, YouTube or stuff like that out of curiosity, or do you actually have uh, knowledge on agricultural stuff, uh, a lot of the stuff in farms do not go to waste. And this is the same with this mod. That's why uh, plant waste actually can be used to make something else uh, later on and as you can see the plant waste once decomposed will actually turn into thatch so the harvesting in this game is actually very different from uh, the normal uh, vanilla game where you know the, mono the normal vanilla game you just you open up and collect it right well the harvesting is very similar to minecraft of all things where once you click harvest uh, thankfully you don't have to add in the seed again it will just continue growing from uh, how it is but you'll go back to what do we not see? You'll go back to uh, its normal small form and you have to slowly wait for it to grow again. This goes for all the different plants from the chickpeas and some of them actually grows to grow into trees. This plants that actually grows into trees will not go to 0% uh, plant maturity or rather it will just stay as a tree and you have to grow them again. Uh, the, this cocoa droop or the coconut this coffee all of these are plants that you can harvest and basically uh it's as i said before it's think of it as like the minecraft harvesting where you don't really have to replant it but you just have to harvest it and they'll start to regrow again quite different from the usual uh arc vanilla uh, harvesting so now that you have these plants uh you might be wondering okay so uh there are different fertilizers in the game, right? How do I even start planting these plants? Or uh, start making said fertilizer? Does the normal fertilizer work? Yes, the normal fertilizer does work. However, it's not as effective as uh, the ones that the mod includes. So, to make your normal fertilizer, you can either A, use the normal dung below, or B, make a primitive compost and just, you know, just 
same as the normal compost, throw in your animal feces with thatch and they will become fertilizer. And if you have a multitude of uh, poop, you can put this poop storage where it will last quite some time. So you have to put it in your fridge and make it disgusting. All right. Then you might think to yourself, okay, so how do I make these very uh, advanced or rather more advanced fertilizer? Well, you have to go to this farm, farm workbench, search for the compost bin and craft it. This compost bin might seem similar to your original compost bin, but that's not the case because you have to make it from the mod so that you have access to all of these. So when you open your compo this compost bin, you might see something very different. There are nine different kinds of fertilizer. The original one and eight others. So all these fertilizers have different tiers. Uh, the mod itself is not uh, doesn't show which tier uh, these items are, but basically uh, tier 1 fertilizer is the normal fertilizer. Tier 2 requires the tier 1 fertilizer to craft it, uh, which is the ash fertilizer. Then tier 3 requires the tier 2 fertilizer to craft it, which is the uh, ash fertilizer which needs to be needed to be crafting the uh, seed meal fertilizer, so on and so forth. Until tier 9, which is the guano fertilizer, which requires bad guano fish emulsion, which is tier 8, and uh, hay. So you might be thinking, where do you find bad guano? Well, just search for an onyx and they will naturally poop out bad guano which can be used. So now onyx are pretty useful to be uh, used for farming too. And uh, you might think to yourself, so where do I make hay or find hay then? Well, to make hay, this requires another structure. And this particular structure is this structure here, the uh, primitive farm workshop which can be linked together with the primitive farm nursery which is used to grow your creatures as shown here you can have a wall feeder and stuff like that for you to grow your creatures in now in this primitive farm workshop there is a multitude of different stuff that you can interact with first up is this hay bale and by the way this pitchfork here is not a spawn in stuff you can actually pick it up and you if you put in you can actually put in the pitchfork so that uh it's number one it looks nicer number two it actually helps benefit uh in the this particular structure in some aspect that i'm not very sure of so how do you make hay well go to this hay bill uh and interact with it and you can put in either thatch or plant waste see this is where the plant waste comes into play is to make uh hay and other than making uh the the fertilizer what else can the hay do well hay actually is can be used as a food for your baby dinos and if i'm not mistaken you can also be, it also can be used to make uh or rather it can be used to as a food source for your normal uh herbivores too and next to it is this thing the meat barrel again this meat barrel has this t-rex arm hang from above which can be crafted from the farm workbench again but this uh actually helps to if i'm not wrong it helps to quicken the process of turning uh this raw the raw fishes and stuff and raw meats into raw meat slurry so what do you do with the raw meat slurry well similar to the hay it is used for making uh the a so-called stackable food source for your dinosaur uh to eat your carnivores to eat to be exact and yeah so uh that's it for this farm structure and next part, as you've seen from this particular, back to the compost, you've seen from this particular thing, you are thinking, okay, I see blood fertilizer. Where do I find a blood bucket? Do I have to kill animals and harvest it? Does the mod bring in new creatures? I, I'll rather bring in any new mechanic to the uh, creatures that I can harvest. Uh, not quite. I'm going to show you... Uh, so let's say if I kill this random triceratops, this wild triceratops, and I'm like, okay, so what can I do with it? Uh, I can't. I open the radio menu. I can't drag. The, I can't drag the body. Uh, I'm just gonna harvest it a little bit. I'm not picking up any new things from it. I'm just picking up the or the normal stuff like the raw meat and some and the hide. So what gives? How do you get the raw blood? Well. 
this is where uh this particular item here like this item here the butcher's knife comes in so to craft the butcher's knife uh again go to the farm workbench the farm workbench can be used to craft this particular knife as i'm going to show you here yeah butcher's knife and with the butcher's knife you must use or kill a tamed creature you cannot kill a wild creature and butcher it you must kill a tame creature uh to show you what it does i'm gonna tame this Diplodocus by force taming all right okay now that i tame this Diplodocus, i'm going to hold e and open the radio menu and you can see there's the word slaughter there so it gives you a timer once you slaughter the animal it will die obviously and there's a you can see there's like the word butcher over there which you can now butcher said animal and once you butcher the animal you see you gain blood bone and raw animal uh, fat along with all the rest of the uh, normal vanilla items and that's how you get your raw blood your raw animal bones and your raw animal fat now you might be wondering, okay, so what happens if I like, for example, I tame a creature and it dies from either fighting or I accidentally beat it to death. Can I still butcher the animal? Well, you can. So let's say, you know, basically you won't, the dead body won't go to waste. And all the creatures will give blood, bones and animal fat. All of it will have the same, uh, uh, same drop same drop items and everything else however two particular creatures do not have the same drop item and that is the fiumia and the dodo bird so when you slaughter oh, for that. when you slaughter i don't know why there's two slaughters but when you slaughter your fiumia and when you butcher said fiumia you'll get one extra meat which is the Rather than the normal meat, you get one extra item, which is the raw Fiumia meat, which looks like bacon. I am so hungry right now, by the way. But back to the mod. So yeah, you get raw Fiumia meat, which is bacon, which can be used to be cooked and grilled and stuff like that, uh, which, can be, which is used in the other mod, which I'll go through tomorrow. Now, back to the Dodo Bird. The Dodo Bird... When you slaughter it and you butcher it, will give you a raw whole bird. I don't know why it gives me two raw whole bird when I kill only one of it. It's like the Minecraft. Uh, if you have looting and you kill a chicken and it drops two chickens, but let's go on with it. So this raw bird, as you're shown here, this raw raw whole bird, uh, can be used to make the food in the next part, or rather the next kanga mod that i'm going to kanga mod that i'm going to go through tomorrow but uh what else can you do with this raw hover well this is where this particular item comes in the butcher's table the butcher's table can be crafted from the farm workbench as per usual and when accessing it you can create a fish emulsion which is used for the fertilizer you can make carnival imprint imprint treat which is used to make imprinting better this is where you can make the rex arm to speed up the raw meat slurry production and lastly you can make raw bird cuts which is used uh, for again the next kanga mod that i'm going to go through tomorrow which requires one raw whole bird to cut down now this that is the butchery part but is there any animal rearing part well there is this coop this coop uh when this coop once you tame a bunch of dodo birds you can put them inside and they will naturally produce dodo eggs and feathers which again is used for the fertilizer and also they will produce uh, small animal feces which you can pick up for fertilizer too but how but do they come in like like once you put the coop down do, does all the bird like just appear like that no you actually uh have to tame some uh birds tame some dodo birds like for example if i pick up this dodo bird i can put it on the floor and you can see that instead of nine, it reduces it reduced to eight dodo birds, and there's one empty nest right here. But you can just pick up said dodo bird, go to the coop, and just put the dodo bird in the coop. And yep, it will be safe in there until the structure is uh, destroyed, which you should have a wall around it to 
defend it already. Up next is this item, the Farmer's Cauldron. So the, again, the Farmer's Cauldron can be crafted from the Farm Workbench. What can you do with the Farmer's Cauldron? You can create a bunch of stuff ranging from bucket of rice starch to bucket of potato starch to sugar, uh, soaps apparently, uh, honey water, normal soap, salt if uh, you if the map doesn't have salt, uh, solid beeswax, block of lard, and candles, fresh candles. And with the fresh candles, uh, you require to you require to be hanged here on the candle drying rack, drying rack to be used as decoration, uh, to be placed on the floor or anywhere in the house so that you have the more farm feel. And up next is this particular thing, the fermenting barrel. So unlike the original uh, vanilla fermenting barrel, this fermenting barrel can be used to make more stuff. When you open it, you can see, wow, there is six things I can make from either potato liquid which needs to be fermented, rice liquid which needs to be fermented, sugar syrup, berry liquid which is beer, grape liquid, and lastly honey liquid. All of these will make alcohol and you might be thinking to yourself, so I make alcohol but what benefits does it do? What benefit do I get out of it? These alcohols or drinks can be used in the next mod that I'm gonna go through tomorrow. As you can tell, a lot of these uh, items inside is actually very, uh, what's the word? It works really well or needs to be uh, worked with the mod that I'm going to go through tomorrow. So if you're going to be playing Tenga Husbandry, I highly suggest you to play it with the next mod that uh, the, yeah, the next mod that I'm going to go through tomorrow. So now that you're, like, you're looking over it, you're like thinking, okay, so I know how to make sugar, but how do I make these buckets of you know, sugar syrup, juice bucket, and so on and so forth. Well, this here, the farm press is used to make all of this uh, liquid. Not only is it to make this uh, particular liquid, you can actually make normal juice. For example, like this particular uh, bucket of tinto berry in my inventory can be used to make different kinds of juice, which can be uh, drank. And it can be made into, you know, sugarcane lemon juice, which is a Funny enough, a drink in my, a pop, quite a popular drink in my country, which I don't really drink. Don't kill me for that. It can be used to make a compressed herbivore treat. Yes, uh, it's basically a sweet cake for herb. It's similar to sweet cake for herbivores. Uh, that is used, that uses a lot of the different items uh, from the mod and from the vanilla game itself. And lastly, it also can be used to make like grape juice buckets and stuff like that. And all these buckets can be used in the in this barrel to make uh the to start the fermentation process. And you might be wondering, okay, so I see there is another item which is the yeast brew. Where do I make make this yeast brew? Well, you make it from the farm workbench. First, you have to make a breathable jar, which is used uh which is made from cotton and water jar. The cotton can be made from or rather can be obtained from the uh seeds and farm itself. And uh, next part is, so once I make the river jar, where can I make the yeast? Well, the yeast can be made here. Fresh yeast brew, which requires flour, a bucket of potato starch, raw salt, sugar, and three river bowl jars. But now that you're thinking, okay, so once I make the fresh yeast brew, I can immediately throw it in and it works, right? Um, not exactly. So I, in my inventory, I actually have a fresh yeast brew. Rather, it requires three hours to spoil over time. And after, once it's spoiled, then it will become uh, the uh, normal yeast brew. So once it is decomposed into the yeast brew, then you can finally make your alcohol. And uh, the alcohol process is pretty long. As you can tell, uh, I've kind of been fermenting this wine for quite some time. Uh, it's only 26% done. But uh, I did spawn in a aged wine already, and it's here. Yep. So once you have the uh, wine made, you get you need to craft a wine bottle, which can be crafted. Say it with me now, in the farmer's workbench. Once you have this empty wine bottle, you just need to wait for this fermenting uh, liquid to finish. This grape liquid to finish fermenting, plop it in, and it will create, or rather, it will turn into this particular uh, wine bottle and you can just put it inside this wine rack and let it sit there. Now, you might, you might have seen, okay, so I can craft flour, but 
where do I craft the flower? Well, you can make using the this, the rotary hand cone, which can be made inside the farmer's workbench. Like I said, a lot of things are inside the farmer's workbench. And once you craft it, you can grind a lot of different things. You can grind loose tobacco leaves, you can grind cocoa powder, you can grind feather meal, wood ash, seed meal, bone meal, and hem, uh, ground hemp seed, which can be used to craft fertilizer, so on and so forth. And with that, uh, I went through basically most uh, of the items in Kenga Husbandry. Uh, I apologize if I didn't go through all of it as this mod is actually really really big and I might have missed one or two things. But there are a few other items in the uh, structures in the game that can be used to help give you that immersive experience. And while some of these structures are here, this incubator. So if let's say you don't want the futuristic incubator, which uh, is very helpful, this incubator can be used uh, instead. So there is three different sizes which uses this incubator workbench. The incubator workbench is used for all three sizes. Uh, so this incubator workbench needs fuel like firewood, wood or thatch to incubate the set eggs which you can just open up drop your eggs inside there and as you can tell the description says you incubate the egg until it is one percent uh the small egg will be used for uh all small eggs the medium egg will be used for medium egg and the uh large egg will be used for large eggs like maybe wiper eggs or giga eggs and it's, you saw that oh there is firewood how do i make the firewood well uh craft the wood chopping station and you can make set firewood Everyone, and you might be thinking, oh, so the wood chopping station is made in the farmer's workbench, correct? No, <laughs> it's actually made here in your inventory. You can make the wood chopping station here and you can make firewood, which will, if I'm not wrong, actually burn longer than wood itself. And uh, this particular item is the fiber brick, which can be used to make uh, long lasting duty ropes and clothes uh, with the hem stock. And next up is this, the meat barrel, uh, which is basically a singular version of the uh, this uh, of this farmer's work uh, farm workshop here. Uh, if you don't want to make the farm workshop, uh, you want to save up some space, the meat barrel can be a alternative. But it does not have you can't hang the T Rex arm above it to quicken the process. And as you can saw that the fiber brick actually has what they can make clothes out of it. Well, you can make this particular item, which is the beekeeper's uh, netted hat. If I'm not wrong, this must be worn when you are interacting with the beehive or the natural, the normal uh, vanilla beehive. It basically works similar to a ghillie suit in that extent. And yeah, that's the end of this particular mod showcase for Kenga Husbandry. Uh, I apologize if I didn't go through all of the minute little details, uh, but I hope this tutorial can help jumpstart your curiosity and also uh, your adventure and your path to becoming a farmer a proper farmer in the game itself and uh don't worry if you are wondering okay so for example where did i get item a or item b uh most of the items are actually craftable inside the farmer's workbench so if any of the items that you are wondering or like where to craft and stuff like that uh please refer to the farmer's workbench as most of the item inside uh most of the item inside this mod should be inside that particular workbench and without further ado, I will end this particular uh, mod showcase here. For day 3 of mod showcase, it will be something that we related to the, or rather that needs Kanga Husbandry to show its full potential. With that being said, this has been Kasu and I hope to see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye!